one son of beast on Woods Burning Hair. This is game three of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Now the next matchup, we're ready to start things here as Orlando Magic are away to face against the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. The last part of the game that we saw this, that the Knicks already made an upset against the Cleveland Cavaliers for the last postseason on 2K Sports in season seven. But now, they decided that they are wanting to do this one again and find out if they can win it right from here. Well, everybody's fighting right I guess Jalen Brunson, Boban Bogdanovich has been playing with his team and you really enjoy the playoffs. Well, it just started now, so you have your own thoughts. And for as for the brackets are we locked in, you'll see if you can win $1 million. Well, it might be me if I could win it. But it's going to be hard for a second and second and court and a conference final. So let's find out how they can do. All right, stepping in right now, I have the next one up. It's Terry Crews along with the all of the time favorite, Gangster Beast. And for the first commentary of our crew, I have it all arranged. It's life rain. Let's get back right into the garden, and we'll see you all later for the post game show. Now let's get in, guys. Take it away. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. We are here in New York City. It's great to have everyone here as part of Garden of the Big Apple. It's a physical one that takes all for anybody. And we all can't wait to see what they got. It's all they happens to be in between. Magic Knicks. Next, after this. It's a great night here at the world's most famous arena in New York City. Hi everybody, Terry Crews, and I'm here with Gangsta Beast in Life Ray, and I will force on the sideline. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is all coming in ready for our next part of the game. We start things here at the Garden as we've got a great matchup between a Jalen Brunson and Jalen Suggs. He's also along with Gary Harris and Dante DiVincenzo. Franz Wagner on OG on an OB. And Josh Clark, he's on Paolo Banchero. And Wendell Carter Jr. on Isaiah Hardenstein. Are you ready? You know I'm always ready because this is the part of the game that we are ready to have fun. Yeah, sure do. I'm really excited to find out what it is. Let's bring it on. The Knicks win the tip off, and we are underway. Ardenstein tries to face things on, and now he gives it over again to Brunson. Brunson on the outside, he will now face things over to Hart. The bounce pass of Ardenstein. Ardenstein, the pass broken up by Gary Harris. First steal of the game, the first turnover on New York. Gardner Jr. Get back to Suggs. Trying to move around the court. Looking towards the middle inside the zone. Punches it with a spin move. That tough drive will stop in. Suggs tries again. Nice defensive effort here, and that will be OG Ananobi. You know, starting things off is not always when you say OG Ananobi. After playing with the Toronto Raptors, he wants to get this thing right back in toward the game. You know, this matchup is not always work. When you take a lot of the time offense, this is what they all do. Keep playing it until you get it done. Now, here sucks. He passed the Carter Jr. Carter Jr. trying to look over at the beat over Heidenstein. It's rejected. Another shot can't make it in. It's too hard to make that strong feel, and that dumb comfortable's not going to be able to stop you down if you're going to get it through. Here's Ananobi. In the corner, now finding again. Brunson starts for three. This makes it in. That starts it off here to the New York Knicks. First three pointer for Brunson. Here's Wagner. Wagner trying to take his own time, looking to find a Harris on DiVincenzo. Works his way across, finds Banchero. The spin move. Five step jump. And he missed the first shot. 
That hard one's not going to tell you now because Paulo Banchero, after playing with a loss against the Cavaliers in the Rio playoffs, it wasn't the day that start things off in game one on the other side, but he's going to know that he has to get better at that point if he wants to get approved. Yeah, I have a lot of feeling for our Orlando B team. May not be what you want. And three puts in for Dante DiVincenzo. Now here's Harris. 5.51 to go in the first period. Starts things off. Here's a shot. And count the bucket in for Wendell Carter Jr. That will be his first bucket for the Magic. First foul called on me for the New York Knicks. As Wendell Carter Jr. is at the free throw line for one shot. And Isaiah Hardenstein with his first personal foul. You know, the tankage is not always easy because Wendell Carter Jr. had it all coming down. That's what he was doing. Take all of your time efforts. Don't try to leave that one all by yourself. If something happens to you, don't take offensive away from it. That's a hard playable that they can't trust on. That free throw won't get in there as he only had two buckets. Orlando trail by four. And now here's Brunson. Brunson right trying to find it over to get it. OG on Obi. He finds the pass back to Hart. Hart steps up for two. This one goes off the mark. Hardenstein couldn't hold on with the rebound. Dante DiVincenzo on Harris. The layup missed again. Josh Hart with the rebound and now finding again Hardenstein. You're never going to take that rebound in there. And you're never going to finish a drive. Always have the right timing if you can get it through. Hart now finds again at OG Adonobi. Now finds again at Brunson. Here's Hart. DiVincenzo. Up for two. And makes it in. Dante DiVincenzo with five points. A2 game. Illy by six. Just got to keep going with Dante DiVincenzo if he can get that done. Now to cut, Richard Powell calls on the Knicks. It will be Hardenstein with his second personal foul. And now with some new changeup, Mitchell Robinson checked in for Isaiah Hardenstein. And now here's Sox. Brunson on to protect him. The screen puts up for Carter Jr. Step back, Banchero for three. He will take it in first here, and he'll have his first three-pointer for Paulo Banchero. That cut is not going to take a lot of work, for all, because this won't take much time if you get through it. Here's Dante DiVincenzo. He finds a pass to Robinson. Off again to Ananobi. Ananobi gives the pass to Dante DiVincenzo. Move the ball quickly to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. Three for Ananobi. Good! Range outside. Ananobi has his first three pointer of the game. Just gotta keep going now. OG Ananobi gotta keep shooting. Here's Suggs outside. Here's the cut. The layup. Oh, and he put it back down. Wendell Carter Jr. has his first rebound and put back in. And this one comes back down by four. Now Brunson gets it off to Robinson. Off again to Dante DiVincenzo. Looks a bounce pass. It's tipped away. Holds it on. Trying to hold the ball, but it's not going to bounce. Last touch here for the Magic, as this won't keep the Knicks ball alive. Now for some new substitution, as Black, Wagner, and of course, Markel Fultz are checked in. Sorry, Cole Anthony. And for the Knicks, three players are checked out. Three players checked in as Paul Baum, McDonough, Alex Burke, and McBride are checked in. I gotta watch out for that. Bob Armandonovich may have that one off. But if he's hoping for, he can get that one right away. Here's McDonovich, shines McBride. McBride gets it over. McDonovich for the first three. Holds a rebound, and he stepped out of bounds. That turns over to Orlando Ball. Now I'm not gonna be happy enough because that won't take some time, and this one's not gonna be easy to have it all stepped in. Two players checked out. Joe Ingles and Jonathan Isaac are checked in. And for the Knicks, Josh Hart's checked out. And it's a Chewia checking in for the Knicks. Here's Cole Anthony. He will have his start. Off to Wagner. And that won't lay it in. Great pass by Cole Anthony. That'll be his first assist of the night. 
Just have to go with the knife, keep on sighting it this way. How bad it is when you try to make the pass and make the drive assisted, but not for long. That was going to take a lot of time. And here's the pass. From Diamond now finds Burks. Burks swings again to McBride. And there's three, three minutes to remain. Down to four. And Robinson has that flutter in. He has his first bucket. It's a 13-9 game. Oh, really say Mitchell Robinson. How'd that one coming through? Here's Joe Ingles trying to watch out for him. In the pass to Wagner. Oh, Mitchell Robinson. Get him out of here. Oh, that was like you always see that rejection shot. What a take. Ingles in the corner. Looks again to Fultz. Five on a shot clock for Orlando. Here's the cut for two. Can't take it from here, and it goes back to Echua with his first rebound. Here's McBride with 2.20 to go. Alex Burke finds again Echua. Watching some cut. Echua wants to give it over to Bogdanovich. And now he gives off to McBride. Here's a drive, and he's fouled. Wagner with his first personal. As now it was only 2.08 to go, it's still a 13 9 game. While that cutting is not going to take a lot of look of it, after you give a dish off for McDonough, and it's McBride having to drive that one in there, that takes a lot of the time with this skill effort. You know, the challenge doesn't really stop on because that one really takes a lot of the work credit. He's really going to have to take some more, more pressure in there at all costs. First trip to the free run line will be the New York Knicks with just only 2.08 to go in the first quarter. He hits the first free throw. And we've got a number of games coming up for you for later tonight. We have a, one of our amazing games here. First up will be 8.30 p.m. as the Mavericks take on against the Clippers at Dallas at American Airlines Center. Following along with the next game, as we have another one that's coming in for you, as we have the Suns facing against the Timberwolves at 10.30 p.m. in Phoenix, Arizona. That will be every game here, only on Sun and Beast. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and catch along, because we're getting close to 600 subscribers. If you're already subscribed, thank you all so much. Sun and Beast will never, will never forget about you. And Burks now finds again a McBride with under two minutes. Here's the pass. McDonough tries to look for some help here. He gives a good screen off to Achua. The bounce pass to Achua. Fades. Oh my! Achua had that first bucket and it's McDonough with the assist. Now that's no take. No joke if you want that. Fultz over Burks. And a rebound puts up by Robinson. He has a second rebound with, with just under 90 seconds. Here's Robinson. Now finds Burks. Burks tries to hold it over now, finding Achua. And now back to McBride. McBride, step back for two. This one can't hold on as Robinson will have that rebound back. That's number three. He goes back to McBride with one minute. They need to get some shots here. Burks over Ingles. And the two can't flow in. Oh, he's definitely having a little bit of trouble already, but can't let that slow down. Volts. Anthony almost lost that ball. And Anthony trying to hold in. Oh, I think that must have been Brooks with the rejection. Oh, there's no take. How did Brooks take over us? That is like no way. He finds a Chua. Now he looks for McDonovich for three. First three-pointer can't hit the mark for McDonovich. 20 seconds to go in the first quarter of the game. McDonovich on Anthony. Anthony for a deep three. That won't be enough. Burks gives off to Robinson. Just down five seconds to shoot. Burks over with the two for a step back, and that will be out of time. 16-9 to score. Great start here for the New York Knicks as they lead up by, you all call, seven. They're just going to have to feel like they're going to get it done. We'll get to you right to the second quarter after this.
at the Garden of New York. The Big Apple. And if you're just tuning in, we're ready to start the second quarter of the game. It's a great matchup here as the New York Knicks are trying to find their way with the solution back to it again. And let's have your takes there, guys, of how the New York Knicks will do. Well, for this season may not be what you really are caring for. This one is taking a lot of time, and there may not be anybody that you may never know. How can you handle that one here? There might be one chance that can take all that effort out there. Maybe you want that? Yeah, you got that. Well, it's just how it is, mate. Just have to go with the New York Knicks, and they're going to have to leave that one up to Mark. As they start with the quarter, as Mitchell Robinson, oh my! And I know he is on Wagner. Then it's Carter Jr. on Mitchell Robinson. Hart is on Ventura. Then it's Suggs on Jalen Brunson. And Dante DiVincenzo on Black. Here's a three for DiVincenzo. It's good. Range outside. Puts it in as he has eight points. And the Knicks are on fire tonight. They're really are stepping it in right now, but they've got to do what they do. And now here's Black. Finds again to Carter Jr. Carter Jr. trying to slow it out of it. Black with the screen, and he's up, and he's fouled. Dante DiVincenzo takes up his first personal, and their second team foul calls on New York. Well, they don't really have to know that because Dante DiVincenzo got a little bit of a slug at a time. That's not what you just wanted to take, but you can't let that one get right into you. The attacker's going to come in, and it's not going to be easy to try to step it up. Another free throw attempt here for the Orlando Magic with only 7.09 to go, passing at passing just almost a minute mark. First free throw sent in for Carter Jr. Now that take doesn't happen. Don't let it get over this to an uncomfortable score. They need something to get done. Mitchell Robinson checked out as Isaiah Hardenstein's checked in. And he makes the second free throw. Now Brunson will have it over on the other side of the team. He will have it over to Avanobi. He takes a deep pass to Brunson. Reporter for Valley of the says Tom Fubio. As that goes for the New York Knicks, he has to talk about one of his real offensive motion on the aggressive drive. He's been talking to one of them after the couple of the disappearance from in between of how the playoff goes rushing back. Well, talk to say that they can definitely show him off how Tom Fibio is. But you may not know if you're going to let him try to keep handling it all along. May not be what you want, but let him take it. Garnett Jr., the layup, put it back in, and a rebound puts up by Josh Hart. He has his fifth rebound of the night, now will bring it over to DiVincenzo. And here's Hart. Fates a shot, now gets out to Dante DiVincenzo. Brunson making in some new changes here on the offensive side, and he will give it over again to Ananobi. Brunson has it back again to Ananobi. Here's a try. They'll get it back. And Isaiah Hardenstein will deliver it in for his first bucket of an appearance. It's 21-11. Franz Wagner with the ball. Tries to roll it in. Up at the layup. Oh, that is taking some good timing for Banchero to get a reverse drive. Ball just happened now because Banchero was really going to take all this working effort. I don't say that he does it for all, but in that case, I say that he's like a very good genius at how he does. Yeah, I know. It's just not easy for comfortable to get a layup drive like Kyrie Irving. Runs it. Has for three for Hart. And good on the range outside. It's a 24-13 game. They really are stepping it up into this. Let's go next. Oh, okay. I'll take the credit to that one if you can. Black. Venture for three. Misses again from the outside. We are just down to five minutes remaining in the second period, second quarter in the first half. And he gets that to Hardenstein. Give it back again to Brunson. Back to Hardenstein. Now has it again hard. Looks it up for the two. He gets it back. Hardenstein. Oh, he does that one again. 
He has his four points of the game. It's a 26-13 game. Well, they're really pressuring in there. Can't let that one fool you. Carter Jr. on the outside makes a spin move and he tries to pull it in. He wants to go for some shot. And it's a blocking defender by Artenstein. Wow! And it turns over to the Knicks ball. Oh yeah, baby. That's what that happens now. Gordon, you feel like you're wrapped up in this? They are all in it. Now as they have any blacks checked out, as Gary Harris will check back in for the starting group. Here's Brunson. Takes his own. Look for DiVincenzo. Brunson. And here's Hart for the outside range. And the miss goes up here for the Knicks. Another rebound puts in for Wendell Carter Jr. as Orlando trying to get back into work. The screen rejects off. With the shot. Rolls in and out. Trying to fire it out in there. And Chara for three. Good. On the outside range, puts it up. It's a 26-16 game. It's really going to be a hard one now. They are really are going to get this over. They can't let that one try to stop you now. DiVincenzo back to Brunson. The bounce pass to Hardenstein. What a pass by Brunson. And Hardenstein with six points. Now that's what happens. Brunson really made a great appearance. Wagner on Ananobi. He finds the pass to Suggs for two. It's good. Jalen Suggs takes it in there and they're back down by 10. Well, they're catching it up. They're catching a break already. But I don't know about the New York Knicks. They are really are trying to get that effort out of here. There's no way that they can't let that one fool down. DiVincenzo with the ball. Now finds it over again to Jalen Brunson. Off to Hart. Hart gives it off to DiVincenzo. He has a three for Ananobi. And Granger. OG Ananobi, six points. And here are Electric. The Flyer take over at the Gordon. Can't let that one stop you there. Here's a pass to Ben Sherrill. Solid performance effort by Josh Carr. Josh Carr has picked up his sixth rebound and now back to Brunson. Brunson watching in with the finish. Foul! And he's off the floor. Jalen Suggs with his first personal. Another team foul falls on Orlando. Well, that's what he always had to say. Tom Video giving the good instructions out there. That must be a hard one to take. But not when you take a lot of it. It's nowhere to be matched. That one keeps it up here clean. Jalen Brunson at the free throw line shooting two. Brunson hits his first free throw. With the next game coming up here, we've got the Bucks and the Heat at the Kaseya Center. As sitting by is Kevin Harlan along with the 2K Sports crew and David Aldridge on the sideline too. All five players are checked out and all five players checked in. Four players checked out. As now it's you, well, Bogdanovich and McBride are checked in. And he hits the second free throw. And here's Fultz coming up. Will be the, yeah, and now the timeout call by Orlando Magic with only 2.27 to go. Good thing to start talking it over because if they don't do, that's, that's the problem. They don't want that one to get out of the way. That's so right now we're approaching down to the end of the first half. Coming up will be the halftime report of the halftime show. It will be Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Chad O'Neill as we get to stay in the first half between the Knicks and Orlando Magic. And if you have your tickets already, be prepared as we got some new episodes for you. If you're sticking in for the an anime insanity or BFDI, that might be what you are looking for. This might be a great take here to have some new episodes on BFDI TPOT in the first half and the second half, BFDI A in the second half. That might be on the other side for the back three, and you'll be seeing what goes in. So that's the halftime show coming up right after this first half of the period. New changes on the court, it's right now that both players are checking in and out, and now it's a new changes on the court. We're under 2.30 to go in the first half as Pulse gives it off to Harris. Harris trying to backstep it here, and now he will try to sweep it over. 
Over with the back end again, trying to look for a drive with the pass to Isaac. And Fultz on the outside, trying to reach it in. Double bounce, Isaac for three. He will take it in here. That will be his first three pointer of the night. 33 21 to score with two minutes gone by. And here's Steven Chenzo. He gives it off to McDonough in the corner three. Oh, yes, he does. McDonough has his first three pointer after Steven Chenzo with the assist. Now, I say McDonough has that one. Great speed. Great look. Oh, at a tough range of bound, you can never let it slow down. Here's Wagner trying to hold on here on a two one. Fultz on McBride. Up at the alley. -oop. Oh, he took it in there. And that one's it's Jonathan Isaac and McFultz with the assist. Oh, now that's a player pool that you're going to take over. On this lookout, you got to give a good look over to Isaac in the middle. But that is no take questions for Sir Reed. Now he finds a pass to Brunson. Brunson gives again to DiVincenzo. Just down to 8 on the shot clock. They better get their shots timing. And Donovich shoots over around Isaac. And a floater goes in. As McDonovich has five points. Down to one minute remaining in the first half. Here's McBride on Fultz on the layup. Well, now the second chance, but he's fouled. Brunson with his first burst up. And his second team foul called on New York Knicks. Next one will now send him to the free throw line with under one minute to go. Well, Fultz never really seen that one. He wants to kick his rebound, but he got pushed. Somebody had made that foul, and it's not really what you are doing. You can't let that one go fouling right up to you. Mr. Tucker is not going to be crazy enough if you take all of it instead. Another free throw attempt coming up here for Orlando Magic on the New York Knicks at the Garden right now with just 50.5 seconds. It's the first free throw. And Harris will step out as Joe Ingles will check in. The New York Knicks are also making some new changes as now Burks, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. He makes the second free throw. And here's Brunson, he will have his own time. He will give it off to McDonovich. He's over now again to Brunson with a try. Oh, Brunson! Finish roll for seven points. This is what they take here for Jalen Brunson. He just made that finish look easy. And Markel Fultz will have his own time. Gives a pass to Wagner. Wagner rolling in. Then it's blocked. It's Shua with his first projection. That was how you do it because the two up really got it all. Smacked a piece of it. That takes a little better hand of that. Ingles, set for two. He will take it in here. That will be his first bucket. It's Ingles' first one taking in here for against the Knicks team at the Garden with just under 30 seconds. Letting the time roll down as McBride will send it off to Achua. Achua now finding again to McBride. And McDonovich right toward the corner. Isaac on him. Six on the shot clock. Looks over. Runs it. Gives it again to McDonovich. Four to three. And it's off the corner that ends the first half. 40 to 27 to score. We'll take a quick break. Third quarter is coming up after this. But first, Allie LaForce on the sideline. Hey, Allie. All right, thanks. Tibbs, what did you think about the way this team defended in the first half? We're not bad, but we have to sustain it for the entire game. They put a lot of pressure on you. we got to make sure we're containing their dribble penetration, and then we got to react to our challenge shots. The expectations are high for the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, Allie, thank you so much. Stand by for the halftime show as we send you over on the other side. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boy, a lot of energy in this arena tonight. The, the hometown fans getting after it. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaquille O'Neal's here. So is Kenny the Jeff Smith. New York came out looking very confident. They jumped out to a 6-0 lead as they strung together some excellent possessions early. 
at the end of the first quarter, they were up in front by seven. Then at quarter number two, they actually increased their intensity to pull further out in front, finishing with a double-digit advantage at the half. Hey, big fella, what's your take on the one so far? Three-point shot was their best friend. I agree with the strategy. When it's working, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jump or die by the jump. But tonight, they're living and they're living good, baby. Kenny, let's get your insight on all Hey, man, it's not hard to see why they're down to this point. They're not even shooting. 35% from the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they can create better shots, then they have a better chance. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Come on. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We're about to get settled underway here at Madison Square Garden. We welcome you back here for the NBA playoffs. All you just tell now that Dante DiVincenzo has delivered it all. He's doing one of his best routines ever. Uh, and you just say because Dante DiVincenzo is definitely like a hard pressure. He's never really into that, but he's all looking for him. Is he good? Is he good? He's really like a champion so far. We start the second half, as right now it's Wagner, he's on OG and on OB. Dante DiVincenzo is on Gary Harris. Carter Jr., he's with on Aiden Harnstein. Jared Brunson, he's with, he's with on Gary Harris. Then, across from the other side, is Palaban Chair on Josh Carr. And finally, we have it across here, Brunson on Suggs. Here's a chance for Ananobi, and he has a pass, now finding over again to Brunson. Here's Brunson for the jumper, and this one will roll way off soon. Pick up the rebound as Wagner's back in it now. Here's a three for Suggs, and he takes it in there. They're back down by seven. They're catching up now. They're never going to let that one slow down if they can get there far. Now Brunson finds Hardenstein, just down to passing the minute mark in the third quarter of the game as Deontay DiVincenzo back to Brunson. Here's Ananobi on a cut and bound. Two-pointer makes it in. Ananobi with eight points. It's now 42-33. Just got to keep that going out there. You're going to want to try to stop one. Here's Harris on a on pressure on again on DiVincenzo. He will grab his own rebound. He now finds it again to Ananobi. He will dish off to Brunson. Brunson will try to deliver it off. In right towards the corner. Looks for a pass. Oh no, he for three. Takes it in. That one's on the outside of the range. And Brunson with the assist. I know he's got 11 points in this game. It's a 45-33 game. Well, they're really all looking for it now. OG Anobi, he's like a star. And Shara on par. 10 seconds to shoot. Spins around. Tries to be over hard. Cut him down. We'll take it back. And he will have the layup in. Manchero with another two points as they're back down again, down by ten. They're fighting for it. They're never going to get away with this one. And there's another choice in there. And Dante DiVincenzo back to Brunson. Brunson. Back again. Brunson. Up over to Hart. Hart. Feed it over Manchero. And good. Hart's got five. And they are racing it up to put a lead pressure, a 2-1 over Orlando. Now here's Suggs. And a free second call is on Orlando. That's on Wagner, turns over to meet Nick's ball. Oh, the bad call, that's a problem. And that's not even good if you're going to take it into the paint. You just gotta stay out there for three seconds. No question, no ass. Here's Brunson now finds it and Banchero with a steal. Orlando looking for a fast break and a great try for Wagner. We do have a report for Ali LaForce. Even expected when Orlando Magic has been putting in there. 
He's a rookie star in his first time appearance in the NBA playoffs of his history. You know, faking is not always real. When you always know Paulo Banchu, he definitely has to deal with a lot of it, respect and routine of work. It's not what they all take for, because that consequence is not going to take a lot of response if he does it for all. That's what he does. The Banchero has to get right into it. Career starts here with the new team. Now the pass finds over Anubi. Five to shoot. Here's Steven Chenzo. That hits off the rim, and it's rebounded by Banchero. Can't get that three-pointer in there. I don't know what's going on. They may not be looking at it after all, but don't get uncomfortable. Banchero, what a dry performance effort. It's a 47-39 game. He has 12. And now Nix will try to give off to Hart. Now, he tries to find it over again to Ananobi. Good ball movement for the Knicks. Just six to shoot. DiVincenzo near the free throw line. Rolls in and out. Oh, that was close already. Most of have gotten there that far. It's not going to take a lot of time if he gets it. Banchero for three. Misses again. And the right side out. And Ananobi will fire it again. Finding Brunson to finish the drive. He's fouled. Suns with his second personal. And first team foul called on Orlando. He stopped the clock at 3.41. Now the drive is never going to be uh, able to go easy for Jalen Brunson. He was already taking the time, and that attack is not going to take all of it. It just didn't really help at all, that's for sure. The free throw line coming up here for Jalen Brunson. He's at the free throw shooting too. It's the first free throw for Jalen Brunson. And now with some new changes. Three players checked in as Banchero, Suggs, and Quarter Jr. checked out. Isaac folds in black as, I, as Wagner moves up and into the lineup. Hardenstein and Park as McBride and Mott Robinson are checked in. He will hit the second free throw as Brunson's got Nine points. Orlando trailing by ten. Starting off is Black. Covered up by Brunson. He finds a pass to Wagner. France Wagner against Ananobi. And Wagner up. Another releaseman takes. His brother is taking a lot of a hard repetition out there. Well, just a quarter of it because both guys have been playing at the same team. Well, you notice that now? Because... Brooke Lopez and Ramon Lopez are definitely the brothers. The Wagners never get that one done easily enough. That's going to take a lot of time to do for more moment than you have. Runs in. Stepping in. A solid D as Hart takes his rebound and he will go in. Eight rebound and seven points in the game. They're backed up by ten. Just got to feel like Josh Hart's doing it again. And Wagner... Pass it across with a shot. Solid performance effort. Mitchell Robinson covering defensive up for the two. Rolls inside out. Robinson's got a sixth rebound and now get back to Brunson. The bounce pass on an OE. Oh, trying to fade that one off here as Brunson will try to make them some new change. Finds a pass up for two. Big Brian. He's got it in there. Great assist here by Jalen Brunson. He's just putting in that build. You know how that happened. We love that McBride had that fucking coming. Timeout called by the Orlando Magic with 2.13 to go. And we'll get you a quick break when we come back after this. That's what you all know for Jalen Brunson on the roll. Gotta take it all if you can. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Sour Patch Kids, sour, sweet, gone. And by State Farm. Call or get a free call at 1-800-STATE-FARM. 
Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And I have a moment already as we've seen the Orlando Magic. This one is not their day to be warping to get into the point. But sometimes it doesn't happen to be most of them. How does it take for you to view them, guys? Well, just because they really don't really think they wouldn't play that well, doesn't mean like they've been really like been undefeated already, but they can't let that one get into control. They're really like not having a better day for it. And because that far, they were really are stepping it up. They couldn't get that one in there for just so long. Well, they are never gonna let this one achieve more. Hopefully there's another change up. Oh, Wagner! Just one hand dunk down. They want to show the throwdown in between. Hey, it's not what you always do. Don't take throwdowns. Just do what you can. Here's McDonough on the outside. He now finds it again to Alchua. Alchua trying to find an open hook. McDonough helping the screen out. Great pick up in the... Off to McDonough and a shot. Wow! That's a great dish off. McDonough with seven points. And Alchua with the assist. Oh, uh, just like you always know, that's just a pick-off look. You like that one, call? Okay, I'll do that for you. And Jonathan Isaac finishes the layup. A 55-45 game. Not many, I'll say, because there's another way that can try to handle it back. I don't know if he now finds it over to Gennady Donovich. He now has it over to Brunson. Brunson trying to give off to OG. I don't know, Big Brock. McBride shot, misses the three. Fultz back in with it now. One minute to go in the third quarter. Anthony flying over again. He's covered by McBride. Wagner on McDonovich. Off for two. And quick rebound, and Isaac with the throw down. Now that's where you don't even say that throwdown is just never going to help. I don't know what you could do, but that is no more day if you wanted to be here. McBride finds it again to Ananobi. Ananobi tries to give off to Brunson with the finish look, and it goes up with the teardrop flow. Now Anthony with the ball. He's on Brunson. Wagner with nobody look. That's off the target. It's rebounded by Chua. Second rebound. Now will have it again to Brunson. He's got seven. He might be looking for eight. Brunson gives again to McDonovich. Five seconds to shoot. Looks to Brunson. Over now to Chua to finish. And he will take it in. What a pass off by Brunson. That's number eight. And that reaches the end of the third quarter. Great communication here. They have been knocking down. Yeah, so far so good. Knicks on the roll. They've been better out there. They look like they want to finish the accomplishment and dine it in though. Three quarters have been finished, but we've come down to the final quarter at the Garden. We'll be right back after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now the definition of this one has to be one of our great assists here. Jalen Brunson and Bogdanovich had that one fade. And this one is not what you all care for because that takes it all what you have. It's the fourth quarter, everyone. Hope you're having fun with us. And we're the last line of change. Markel Fultz is on Dante DiVincenzo. Vance Isaac, he's on Hardenstein. Vance Hart on Brent on Ponchero. And then we got over here is McBride. He's with on Jalen Suggs. And Ingles is on Burks. Here's another one for McBride. Up for the two. Up with the shot. And it goes in. McBride with five points. They all say McBride. Might show him what you can definitely do if you can. Layout makes it in for Jalen Suggs. Another two-pointer makes it in. Markel Fultz with another assist here, and it's now Burks with the ball. 61-49 is the score, and now he gets off to McBride. He finds a look over to Hart, and he almost lost that ball. 
holds on tight, back to McBride. He's again works, and Arnenstein suits a rising. That fade off did not hit. Jalen Suggs keeping it inside and out. Attacking a rim with a shot and a layup, and rolls around the rim, and it goes in and out. Different comparison between Suggs and Brunson. 11 points in between, and he's like trying two points in. Here's another take for Dante DiVincenzo. He rolls again, hard back to McBride. Eight. Spy to shoot. Here's Hart. Over Manchero. And the shot goes in. Josh Hart with nine points. And he has been all quiet out there. A four out of seven field goal remains. That percentage has to have no with Josh Hart's uh, goal plan. He just really makes sure he has that one all covered in there all for long and take it over with the offended way that he has it all finished in. Here comes the try for Jalen Suggs, and that went too strong. Hart with the rebound, now finding again to Alex Burke. Burks finds it out of Hart, and DiVincenzo up for three. Yes, sir! He is knocking it down. 11 points in the game. Eight, 66-51. Here we just gonna let it go. Let's bring it on, team. Time out. Ball away. on that match with a 541 left to go. And we got the next game coming in there. Giannis on the and Jimmy Butler are ready to take things on. We'll send you on the other side for a 330 game as we have another one coming in at the Kaseya Center. Following along with the part of the next game, you all call for this one. A tonight's game in between the Mavs and the Clippers at Dallas at American Airlines Center, and then 10.30 at night will be Suns and Wolves at Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Stay tuned for our next game. It's another day two will be coming in there. We start things off with Philadelphia. The Sixers stick out against the Celtics at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Following along with the next game, all say for once, if you've seen this one, you may know for the truth again. Pacers and the Cavaliers at Gamebridge Fieldhouse that will be at 4 p.m. Following along with the next game, we have the Golden State Warriors and the Nuggets at Chase Center in San Francisco, California for our latest game at 8.30 p.m. And also with that too, it's also coming in with a 9.30 game. We see the next one here, and it's all you can just say of the OKC Funders facing against the Pelicans at Smoothie King Center. So that will be 9.30, and then 7.30 will start here for the Pelicans versus off the lover team you call the name for, the Thunders in New Orleans. That will be all here in every game, only on Sun of Beats. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and keep on going. If you don't, somebody will reject your shot. Oh, don't let that one get over on you. Well, it's just the way that you can definitely feel it. You better subscribe now. I don't know if he now finds Steven Chenzo. Hardenstein with a two, and it goes in. Hardenstein with eight points. Here's Suggs, passes off to Carter Jr., and here's Ingles. Ingles, back to Suggs. Brunson trying to feel it out a little bit. A step back. That two doesn't handle. Fighting for the rebound is OG Ananobi. Second rebound of the night now finds hard. And now he will try to give off to Brunson again. He finds a pass. Hardenstein. Two point for Hart. And it goes in. Another two point for Hart. 11 points compared to same with Jalen Brunson. No, it's just the way you wanted to do. That player is just playing to even up. Let's strengthen it up again. Joe Ingles with the ball. Finds a pass. Sucks all alone. And what a dish off here for Joe Ingles. He has his first assist. He's keeping it on here for a live in a game. Just gotta keep on going. I don't know if this will help. All I have to say, Joe Ingles. All for a long. Just got a good open look. Here's a pass to Brunson. And Demon Chen's over in her three. That rolls in and out. Rebounded by Hardenstein and now gives off to Dante Demon Chenzo up again. Back to Brunson. Gives a look to Hardenstein. For the two. And good. Nine 
assists in a row for Jalen Brunson. And it's Harding's time with 10 points. He's just going to keep on going. He might be a New Balance player in the game for the playoff of the game three. Carter Jr. on Hardenstein, and here comes the drive. That play away. Hart with an hour rebound on Fine Brunson. He's over again. Shot for two. Oh, I think Ben Chero had that piece. Yeah, I guess that was going to happen like that. Will I Sabres can't let this one go goodbye? You know, Ben Chero doesn't. Lock the pass, but the ball will keep it alive for the Magic Ball. New substitute change is now Wagner's checked in for Joe Ingles. And for New York Knicks, they will substitute, substitute for an hour player on the other side of it for some new coordinate changing strategy. Hardy Jr. in the corner. Wagner finding slots again. Here's a drive, trying to send it in, and Suggs does it again. We're under three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Jalen Suggs says 13 points in the paint was only eight in the first and second half. Just have to go with a hard figuration, and you're never going to let that one keep on scoring if you get there. All right, swings again back to Ananobi. Here's the pass, back to Hardenstein, and a take. DiVincenzo trying to need to get a shot. Ananobi for a two, and up it goes in. Oh, Gia Ananobi with 13 points. Well, the trade-off does set it up for Toronto Raptors, but he's just definitely killing it all. And Wagner will try to fire it around. Looking for more room and space, and a drive won't set in, and he's fouled. And Josh Clark will take his first horsehole foul. Number team foul called on New York with 2.11 to go. Foul is at the line. Two shots. He misses the first free throw. Oh yeah, it looks like that says it's happening now. It doesn't mean like he's really like in for ready. Ah, uh, perception this. It's just not comfortable for him to like keep it on going. Don't let him get the handle of it if he can. He will hit the second free throw. That's one out of two for, for Frank Wagner, and now it's Brunson. Brunson's on fire now. He only had nine assists in this game and only 11 points. Two minutes remaining. Bounce pass, and he just lost the ball, and he goes back again to Orlando Magic. Just can't let that ball stop you now. If there's something wrong, you just need to fix it. Now here's an R1 for Suggs, and back to Harris. Garner Jr. not finding again to Manchero. Manchero trying to step it out of it. Looks it over. Finds Garner Jr. A stop made, holding for a breath, and he lost that dunk! Ananobi takes it over. Well, the problem can't let that one fool you. No stopping quits on here. Here's Hart, right towards the outside. Now finds Steven Chenzo. Trying to give a bounce pass to Ananobi, and he goes in! Ten assists in a row for Jalen Brunson. He just give it a point finger. That's he goes for the move. Great cut here, my man. Oh, he's just loving it now. I think that Jalen Brunson, he's on a great play every game for tonight. Just have to enjoy it. And now Ben Cheryl will try to figure it in, and now backing over it to Harris. Six on a shot clock. The screen, up and in, and we'll finish off the drive here. Jalen Brunson this time. Ten assists in a row, and with only 11 points, he's off again to Hart. Hart tries to deliver it over to Ananobi. Goes again to DiVincenzo, and now find Brunson. The bounce pass to Hart. For two, misses again. 
That's just okay because this is never going to let that one slow down. Just go for a moment. All for Brunson. On for all. Three pointer misses and Hardage Stein takes it up. Seven rebounds of the night. Dante DiVincenzo is on in the outside, laying the clock wind down. Brunson, letting your team go up on the feet at the garden. And he will try to finish it off from here with last group substitution. And that will be a shot clock violation to finish it off with the last substitution in the game. That will be your best player in the game for Jalen Brunson. Last new groups is on the court. Three players checked out, three players checked in, and for next two, all five players checked out. Four players are checked in. And that's going to do it. New York Knicks wins the game, 76 over 58. They are back in the leading series, a 2-1. That's how that happens now. They really love them coming out. You know what the feeling is? Oh yeah, I know it does. They let that one rumble showdown in New York. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with the first game. Terry Crews along with Gangsta Beast and Lightbreak. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Adios! All right, thank you, uh, Terry Crews. And this one is a great one to make the successful for the New York Knicks. Popping it out at the Garden, a 2-1 series over Orlando. Here's how he did with the total games with the statistics scores. 62 won 56 for three field goals and three pointers have made for New York Knicks. Both guys have made a free throws with five and five. Five, 34, and 11. Second chance, points and pain, and fast break was only Orlando Magic. 18 and 27 for the New York Knicks. Only turned great. The enemy offensive rebound was only picking up for 16 offensive rebounds for Orlando and 24 for the New York Knicks on the defensive rebound. Two steals only took for Orlando Magic, but six blocks. That's amazing. Yeah, you've got to say that you have to believe on Mitchell Robinson. It's the true power that they really been stopping it in there. That's a great helping on this team. Can't let that one stop you now. Two turnovers and four points off was Orlando Magic with only 13,005 dunks. No dunks performed for the New York Knicks, sadly, but it's only happened to be the biggest lead for 20 and time possession 1744. Now, three star player of the games are on. Woods Booty, you take it from here. All right, thank you. Now, for the third star, we get this thing straight and ready to go for anybody's game. We start things off here with all of our biggest. It happens to be Jalen Suggs. 13 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. He only had 6 out of 11 field goal range, only 1 and 1, 3 pointers at night. But then it was 20 performance effort. He had only turning it the best one that he can be. With only game one and two, and now it's game three for him. Now for number two, we go to OG Anubi with 15 points, three rebounds, two assists, one steal, and only had six out of seven field goals. Three and three for the three pointers, and the Eels have definitely been picking it off for so long. Definitely done great. Without the Raptors, welcome to the team in the playoffs. OG Anubi, I for your number one star. Your New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson. Ten assists in a row. He only had made that one great with 11 points. Three out of six field goal. One three-pointer. One three-pointer on the other side. And it's only 34 performance effort. I love this hustle and this one turns it great. Well, we all say for Jalen Brunson, he's been picking it off like he does. Excellent work. That ends it up for the first game. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel and definitely leave a comment box down here below. I'll be happy to appreciate you. Which one do you like? And because of this, we're adding something a little bit new for this time. And so yeah, folks, viewers, it's your turn. Because it's now time for your thoughts. Who do you think will be playing again for next season in Season 9? Yeah, that's definitely true. We are almost getting close to Season 10. For 2017 to 2026, it's going to be really that, it's going to be really good. Well, definitely it's true there, Mike, but it's just got to be around the corner, so keep your eyes steady. 
And now at that moment, if you have something else to say, please feel free to let me know right in, in between in the comments just to know if I had done the best. It's just a great way for us to have a little bit of feedback and also if you enjoyed this part of the video. If not, here are any of our videos that you should recommend here only on Son of Beast, so that way it will be helpful enough. Yeah, definitely true. And with that being said, the next game's coming on just underway as we got the Bucks and the Heat underway here at 3.30. And in the meantime, peace out, folks, for a while as the NBI two kites force of the playoff dial. This is Sunny Beast and Wood Spoonie. See you all on the other side. Until then, have a great day in New York, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.